everybody, it's Melissa. On my YouTube live yesterday, I was talking to y'all about a 45% off sale for Parfums the Marley, and y'all wanted a whole video, so I am gonna basically just give you my honest opinion about some of the fragrances from the brand. I wish I can hold all of them up in my hands right now to show you, but I don't have enough hands to do all that, all right? But 45% off, absolutely nuts. I'm gonna have the link for that in the comment section and the description box below in case y'all wanna support the channel. But for example, things like Haltane, right? This thing I've seen for 410 and it's going for under 250. Same for Carlisle, I've seen it for 405, but I'm seeing it for under $250. And yes, they're for the 100 ml. They're not for the smaller bottles. Like these are the big boys, you know what I'm saying? So take advantage of it. I know Valentine's Day is coming up. Time to spoil yourself, spoil your partner if you want to, and get bougie with these scents, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna start, where do I start? I'm gonna start with my favorite Parfums the Marley right now that I wear is Sedley, all right? So Sedley is actually the newest PDM in my collection, and I know you can't really see much of the juice used from it because I got this thing in January, but it just completely fits my vibe. It's a very fresh, citrusy, effortlessly sexy type of fragrance that I can throw on anytime, anywhere because I live in predominantly warm weather. It's just such an easy like dumb reach type of fragrance honestly it's the type of scent that reminds me of luxurious sprite just think if sprite was a fragrance and it had sex appeal then it would basically be sedley but for me i'm the type of person that likes to go to the beach a lot i like to be outdoors and it's the perfect scent for me so in first place i gotta give it to sedley performance with this I get over six hours of it. Like I could still smell it after that six hour mark, just wafting in and out. So to me as a fresh fragrance, that's pretty good performance. Cause with freshies, I'm kind of expecting that three to five hour range. Just that's a general ballpark for fresh fragrances. So I'm happy that this one lasts over six hours on me. And it's just citrusy. It has a little bit of that afternoon swim vibe that I like. You guys have heard me talk about Elysium. It's just, it's in that ballpark with them. So I really, really do love Sedley. Now, my favorite feminine Parfums the Marley that I don't have right now with me is Meliora. Meliora is, if I just had to say my favorite PDM, it would be that one. I just find it to be so attractive. It smells like champagne, red berries, blackberries. It's a fun scent, but it gives me rich girl vibes. And honestly, I know it's a feminine fragrance, but there have been guys that have messaged me saying that they've used it and that they just feel super sophisticated with it. And I'm super happy that y'all like to experiment with different, different type of fragrances, regardless of what your gender is. So if you're a guy wondering, hey, can I pull off something like Meliora? Try it, you will feel like a baddie on a boat. And I know you're gonna smell fantastic. It smells luxurious. It just, and it smells not like you're just on a boat, but like you own the boat. It smells like you own a yacht. It just has that sort of, aura to it but not in like a douchebag sort of way it smells fantastic performance there is about when my sister wears it because i gave it i gave a bottle of it to my sister i still smell it on her past that like four to five hour mark but if you are going to be stepping outside you got to spray more of that fragrance and i have a video of my spray routine and you can check that out on my channel but make sure that with those lighter type of scents if you're going to be out all day you could push Meliora over 10 and don't, don't be, don't be shy with her. You know, if you're doing two sprays of her, you're not really going to get much out of it. All right. Now I'm going to talk to you about a scent that I'm not the biggest fan of from Parfums the Marley. And that is Godolphin. The bottle is so pretty though. Godolphin looks like, what's, what is that, that Vegas hockey team, the Golden Knights? Because it's a golden bottle, but yeah, it's a leathery fragrance that just doesn't do it for me. Truly. And it's not that it's a bad scent where I would go, ugh, if someone were to wear it. Honestly, majority of the Parfums de Marlies, they will be likable. But to me, when you have something like Leighton on the masculine side, right? You got things like Carlisle, Sedley. Godolphin just doesn't really hold a candle to those fragrances, in my opinion. I think if you do love a leather type of DNA then yes, this is going to be the one that, that stands out because it is their leathery fragrance. But I just find it to be 
kind of a five out of 10, four out of 10, you know, it's a bit lackluster in comparison to the characteristics of the other fragrances and the way that the other scents have me react when I smell them. So to me, Godolphin, it's okay. And it's always interesting because with the fragrances you don't like, they typically last longer. I'm sure that other people experience that as well, but that is definitely the case for me because Godolphin, I was still smelling on myself over seven hours and I was like trying to scrub it off. So good performance. Definitely lets you know that it's around. All right, now I don't have Herod, Ojan, and Hobdon. I have talked about all of them, so just like a quick synopsis of how I feel about them, all right? Herod is the tobacco fragrance. People either love it or they hate it. For me, I liked it before, but then it went on a gradual decline. If you are one of my OG subscribers, then you saw me kind of fall out of love with Herod. I wouldn't even call it love to begin with, but it was almost this burning tobacco smell. The cherry was kind of nice with it, but I just didn't, it just wasn't doing it for me. I know a lot of people in the fragrance community love Herod. It's kind of hailed as what Leighton is to the public, right? When people think Herod and Fragcom, they're like, oh, it's, it's the best, right? But to me, it just, it will do it to the, to the fragrance nose, to the, to the people in this hobby. But outside of that, yes, it can still work, but it's not on the same level as Leighton. That's again, my experience that I'm just sharing with y'all. And then the experience of having people, both guys and girls try that fragrance and tell me how it wore on them and see how other people around them liked it. No one really cared about it, honestly. Um, so it was interesting, but I'm not really rocking with hair, but I will recommend it if you like burning tobacco, do it. I'm not going to tell y'all don't buy that fragrance because there's a fragrance for everybody. And I know if you like a cherry tobacco burning smell, that is going to be the scent for you. I promise. All right. If you want a little bit of that badass factor to you, a little bit of that polarizing sort of vibe. But honestly, if that's what you're going for, if you kind of want something that, that smells, it smells good, but it's still, a, it smells a little dangerous or different. Go Pegasus exclusive. The OG Pegasus, I thought that was a very feminine fragrance, in my opinion. It reminded me of a Dior scent called Hypnotic Poison. And honestly, when I smelled Pegasus, I felt the same way as I did with Altier, where I thought that they were feminine scents. And I know that when you see a masculine bottle, you automatically associate it with, okay, it's a scent for a guy, right? That's what you think. But when I smelled it, I was like, these smell like fragrances for women. And that happens a lot with different brands, right? They'll put a feminine scent in a masculine bottle or sometimes even more of a masculine scent in a feminine bottle. And just to kind of see how people play off of that with their skin chemistry. But nonetheless, Pegasus, not a fan of Pegasus exclusive. I love Altier. This, will sm this smells good. This is an amazing fragrance. I do like it better on women. I can't lie. I'm not saying that men can't wear it because of course you can. If you want that gourmand warm cookie sort of cinnamon smell, you want to smell like a baddie in the fall, then hell yeah, well, our, wear all tier. Tongue twisters, man. They always get me. <sighs> yeah, this is like a warm, almost sugar cookie right now. Just smelling it like this, but of course it wears different on skin. I still think it smells like a warm cookie on skin, to be honest, but... Definitely a nose to the neck type of fragrance in a snuggly way, in the type of way that almost a Netflix and chill type of way, you know, where it's, it's cold outside, you guys are getting a bit closer together, you smell absolutely delicious, you invite them to your house or your apartment, your condo, all of a sudden you're watching movies or you're on the couch drinking wine. One thing leads to another because the way you smell is absolutely delicious because you're delicious. That is Altier. So this I love. Really, really love this this new release by them. All right, but to kind of get back on track, Ojan, to me, is a pass for me. I think Altier is better, just simply put. And what was the other one? Hobdon is unique. I liked it at first, and I honestly thought I liked it more than Leighton at one point, but then I got, for some reason, it made me nauseous one day. I was like wearing it at night, and I was like, ooh, all of a sudden, it turned. I just didn't like it. It, it was a sweet... It was orangey, it kind of had that citrus in the opening and then it definitely had more of like a, a spicy, dark kind of base, very unique to the Western nose, right? But 
I was really rocking with it until that point. And ever since, I just have not liked Hobbs on. But if you're looking for, let's, let's say, how do I say this? If you guys know that game Mortal Kombat, you know who Katana is or Katara. I think her name is Katana. You know her evil twin, Melina? The one that's like a, a clone of her, but kind of went a little bit evil? That's basically Hobdon and Layton. Layton is... You you get what I'm saying, all right? If you don't, let me explain it to you with my love for Layton. This is the OG. This is the this is the reason Parfums de Marley got super popular. Because of this... And where's mom? Where is she? Hold on. Delina. These two... I will always give the respect, give them their flowers. I've noticed that whenever fragrances really pop off into the mainstream, the first thing people do is just hate on them. They're like, oh, it's not even worth it. I know a better fragrance, blah, 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 blah. All of this yap, right? But there is a reason why these got super popular and why they've skyrocketed ever since. These are star players on the Parfums de Marley team. And I love both of these scents. So to me, Layton actually comes across as a pretty unisex fragrance. It is on the masculine side, but it's like an apple vanilla scent. And this, by the way, I, my grandma loves this fragrance. I let her wear the scent and she smells fantastic. I think that if you were to blind buy this and you're looking for a sweet fragrance that is seductive, that is sexy, that is a massive compliment getter, and you do want it to be more on the masculine side, then go with something like Layton. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think if you're torn between Layton and Ojan, I would always say go Layton, if, especially if you want it more, a little bit more masculine. Ojan can be, is much more of a unisex fragrance between the two, more of a gourmand, but this one is much more memorable, in my opinion. And people always ask, well, what about Layton? What about Layton exclusive? If you are a social person, if you're going out, if you're outside, Layton exclusive. If you are going to be interacting with people in real life, get Layton. All right, did I say exclusive earlier? I said get the OG Layton. The exclusive, this will impress people on YouTube, people on Fragrantica, um, you know, your, your niche snobs, right? People on Facebook groups, Reddit groups, things like that. I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance because it is good, but there is a complexity to it. But honestly, this is just a superstar. This one will get you like the niche love, right? When you're, if you're around people that are into fragrances and you say, oh, I wear Layton exclusive. Yes, they'll be more impressed versus than you saying, yeah, I rock Layton, right? But to the average person, when you're going out and it's um, particular with women's reactions, Layton totally beats out Layton exclusive. I think this will get you more reactions from men. This will get you more reactions from women. All right. Next up, because I talked about Delina real quick, we're going to talk about both the exclusives. Oh my God. I can't even tell you how much backlash I've heard about Delina because, oh, it's so basic, everybody wears it, and it's just not true, y'all. As much as people know Parfums de Marley in the fragrance game, this brand, you do not smell Parfums de Marley every time you step outside. That's just not the case. People still don't know niche fragrances. If I were to pull a random person off the street and be like, have you heard of Dior Sauvage or Chanel Number no. 5? They might be like, oh yeah, I know that perfume. But if I say, have you ever worn Delina exclusive or heard of it? They're going to say, who the hell is Delina? They are not going to know this brand. Okay, so you got to keep it real with reality. Separate it from the internet. They are not one and the same. And my job that I want to do for y'all is letting you know how people in the real world will react to your fragrances. And both of these are bangers. Regular Delina, good for your OG versatile scent. You wear this anytime, anywhere, any season. Summertime? Might be a little bit more eh, just because there is some sweetness in this fragrance. There are better summertime fragrances like Meliora. That one will bang. But this is a rose lychee fragrance. Lychee is this exotic, almost juicy fruit. And the rose, I feel like, is really well balanced with it. It adds a beautiful floral element. Now, Delina Exclusive is just a nighttime version of this scent. And she's a powerhouse. This already lasts over eight hours, no problem. This will last all day with two sprays, all right? I remember, I did one spray of Delina Exclusive 
The whole room smelled like me where I was. When people were entering the room, they could smell me. That is how potent this fragrance is. So when you are, if you're going to go out, if you're stepping out, if you are going to be looking hot that night and you know it, and you're looking for that fragrance that's going to turn heads the same way you are, she will keep up with you. I promise. This is the type of scent that if you can visualize, you know, Cupid's bow, like, you know, and like it hits somebody and all of a sudden they're love struck. That is what Delina will do. It has that range to pull that. And when that person turns their head and they see you looking sexy as hell, what do you think is going to happen? All right. So if you're not trying to have people on their knees for you, then don't wear Delina exclusive, but please use her powers wisely. Do not be rocking her in the summertime. Do not be wearing her to school to try to get attention from your crush like that, please. Because it's, you got to think of the environment. This is a very situational fragrance. If you're going to wear it to clubs, if you're going to wear it to bars, parties, galas, weddings, when you're trying to show out, that's the place. Wearing it to work, maybe with one spray, it can work. But that's not the place. That's not the place for a baddie like the Lena exclusive. All right. Next up, I'm going to talk about another parfums from Marley I don't really rock with. Galloway. Damn, I got a lot of heat for being honest about this fragrance. Shout out to the guy that sent me this, though. One of my followers was like, Melissa, I got a bottle of Galloway. Would you like it? And I'm like, bro, I would love that. You know, I'm gonna keep it real with what I think about it. He's like, yeah, yeah, just, just, you can have it. He gives it to me. And yeah, it reminds me of, do you remember... Or do you know when you go into a restaurant and you're ordering takeout, right? And there's a giant container of hand sanitizer. That's what this smelled like to me. And before anybody says it's your skin chemistry, maybe, right? But the thing is, even in the air, I wasn't really rocking with it. It's just not my favorite from this. I think that Sedley is their best freshie on the masculine side. And Meliora is just the best in general. But... Galloway doesn't do it for me, but I do know that if you are an older, maybe a dude in your 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, you got that office job and you're looking for that clean, profesh sort of smell, this will be good. But I honestly, I have a better option for you than this one. Percival. When I went to Nordstrom, I was talking to the Parfums de Marley associate. This lady tells me the top seller is Percival on the masculine side. I was shocked. I was like, for real? I would think it'd be latent. And it, came, it clicked because of where I live. It's warm, right? So when people smell something like Percival, which is basically... An, oh, that smells so good. It's, you know, Fierce by Abercrombie and Fitch? That sexy 2000s DNA? It's like that graduated college and is out of the frat life and is now working on Wall Street. That is basically Percival. It's just a very easy to love masculine scent very very versatile it's not like latent that it's more on the sweet side this you can wear in a professional setting you can wear it to a wedding you can wear it on a date this is like your one shot wonder type of fragrance kind of like delina any situation i call them chameleon fragrances they'll blend doesn't matter if you're in a white tee and some, and some gray sweats you're gonna be sexy wearing percival if you're suited up boom in a tie you're gonna look great in Percival. If you're shirtless with a chain, you're gonna smell great with Percival. It's just, it's a win-win-win type of situation. This one gets a lot of love from the ladies. A lot, a lot of love. And damn, for all the right reasons. Nice scent trail as well. It smells, it also smells, it has this vibe that you just got your shit together. It's not a fun, flirty scent, you know? It's like, you... Have your, how do I, you have your shit together. That is what Percival smells like. Just somebody that's on top of their game and that's attractive to a lot of people. When somebody holds it down for themselves and their family and people see that person, they're like, yeah, that's, that's attractive. That's a very attractive quality. And they bottled that in this fragrance right here. So Percival, a winner. And this one does last over seven hours. I kid you not. At first, on me, I thought this thing was only pushing for four. And I had to make a quick video the next day to say, y'all, nah, this thing was lasting on me. Uh, this, this, this thing lasts. I went nose blind to this fragrance and I wholly admit that. So absolute banger. All right, real quick. Vallea, don't have right now. Vallea is their feminine fragrance that also came out sometime last year. And Vallea, 
Smelled good in the opening, smelled good in the dry down. I didn't like the middle of it. I still prefer Delina. With Oriana, that marshmallowy sweet fragrance, I would rather have Delina exclusive. It's good, but it's not as good as the other ones. Safinad, more of a mature woman's fragrance, somebody in their 50s, 60s, that's the vibe it gave me. But rich mom vibes is what Safinad smelled like. So just a quick rundown on those. I don't even have to say the name, but I will, Carlisle. Man, do y'all remember when I wouldn't shut the hell up about Carlisle? Do you remember? I remember, all right. Oh, man. Oh, this scent memories, bro. This, <laughs> you remember my Pound Town Galore videos? Enough said, okay? Carlisle is a very sure of itself type of fragrance, okay? This is not an easy blind buy. For everybody watching this fragrance, read my lips. This is not a blind buy fragrance, okay? It's not safe. This is the type of scent, the people that are buying Carlisle, you already have to know, like, I'm gonna get that scent. You can't be like, oh, should I? Is it, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? You can't play that game because this scent does not play games. People either rock with it or they don't, okay? To me, this is a very, it's like an Eastern fragrance DNA likable to the Western nose. It has some spices. To me, it has like almost this green medicinal apple smell in the opening. But there's just something so, it's like a very deep, dark, masculine fragrance that definitely has badass vibes. I've used the comparison before of like, I can't remember that show. I'm sure there was a show, but like, you know, those, those, uh, whenever there's like a love triangle in those, those like teen shows, how there's always like the golden boy, right? The golden child, there's that one. And then there's all of a sudden the one that the dark horse that everybody roots for, that everybody, that all the girls are attracted to. Like, yes, technically, star player, everybody likes him, golden child, right? But then the one that's mysterious, the one that's quiet, the one that maybe gets in a few scuffles because he doesn't let shit slide. For some reason, there's something attractive about that and that is what Carlisle is. Again, some people hate it, some people love it, but all it takes is confidence to wear this fragrance. It's a grown fragrance. It doesn't play games, like, it's not something like Leighton that uh, to me is blind by worthy like Carla that not Carla like Percival that's blind by worthy this is a very sure of itself type of fragrance and it lasts boy does this thing last over 12 hours no problem all right lastly we're gonna wrap it up with Haltane Haltan Haltane if this I don't know how long this video has been going y'all but I've been having the time of my life oud fragrance but done right and likable okay I know you might have saw my face with that it's good, y'all. Like, this is a good fragrance, but it's just, it's just not my favorite. And if you are into the fragrance game, if you're watching fragrance videos and you love this hobby, you will love Haltane. I promise you. You'll wear it to work. Your coworker's going to be like, oh, you smell nice. They will like it. Yeah, for the most part, it, it has a little bit of a mass appeal to it. But to me, it, yes, it's good in its own right. That's what I should just say. I should stop there, but... People always compare it to Leighton to me. They're like, Melissa Haltane is so much better than Leighton. I think, yeah, if you're in the fragrance community, you will, yes, you're going to think that because it's more unique. And what have we established? When things are popular, people are always looking for the time to tear it down. They always want to tear it down, take it off the pedestal, right? But when we're comparing these two to real life reactions, and again, this is coming from my experience. Everybody's experience is different. The Haltane is not touching Leighton, all right? People are always telling me, they're like, oh yeah, Haltane's coming to dethrone Leighton. I'm like, I can guarantee you one thing, you're probably a guy saying that that's in the fragrance community, but when we are talking about ladies' reactions, it is miles behind Leighton, all right? So I will just keep it real with you like that. If rock what you like, point blank, period. If what I said there got you upset, don't even worry about it. If you like it, that's what matters. You don't have to write a paragraph writing for your love about it and telling me how I'm being rude about it, okay? Because this scent right here, it still pulls like crazy. Again, this is going to be very attractive to women still. Haltane, it can be, but it's not dethroning Leighton. It's not going to be like in a year from now, all of a sudden, Haltane is the most popular parfums from the Marley and Leighton is, is underneath it. That's I don't see that happening. I still see Leighton above this fragrance. 
I can see Percival on top, and it has been in Southern California because of the weather here, but yeah, Leighton, I feel like also the versatility with Leighton. This is something that I could see all ages wearing, whereas Haltane, more of a grown person scent. Like I see this late 20s and up. I don't see this as a teenage fragrance. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, with a lot of scents that take off and that skyrocket in popularity, they have the wearability for, you know, a teenage, 20-year-old, 30-year-old, 40-year-old, like they have the all range demographic. Whereas something like Haltane, this is this is really focused on, you know, the the grown folks. And I love that. I love that. All right, so I can't put them in a particular order, but what you do know is Sedley is my favorite on the masculine side, and Meliora is my favorite on the feminine side, and my least favorite, probably gonna be Galloway. All right, anyways, y'all, again, the discount for these fragrances, 45% off. It's only from February 2nd, from today until Sunday. All right, so that's the time to take advantage of these if you want. It is with Joma Shop. Um, and if you guys want to support the channel, I would really, really appreciate it. Of course, I will never force you to buy where you're not comfortable. So buy where you're comfortable. But if you want to support, like, I appreciate the love. All right? 45% off. Nuts. I hope you all have a great day. 45% off these. I said, I didn't say 45% off these. No, I said 40% off. 45% off. That's nuts. Right? I'm sorry, I have that freaking joke in my head. Have a good one, y'all. See you in the next video. Bye.